Hello and welcome to Acoustic Paradiso here on Anderton's TV. I'm Ben and uh, we're going to be looking at some effects today. Ooh, I know everyone gets excited about effects pedals for acoustic guitars. They don't. Um, but I am actually really uh, looking forward to trying this because although it doesn't have anything that is going to make, you know, make the headlines or whatever, it does seem like it's going to be a very practical and useful box for the kind of gigging acoustic guitarist. So let's have a look at it. It is the Valaton or Valeton, we can't decide how to pronounce it here, um, Dapper Acoustic Mini. Um, it's in this little tiny box. Let's see what it looks like. Um, and then we can plug it in and see what it sounds like. All right. So let's see what's inside the box and uh, check it out. So on the box it says it's got cool transparent knobs with built bright built-in LEDs, which I'm very looking, much looking forward to seeing. It's really small. Wow. It's smaller than I thought. I thought it was going to be the length of the box, but it's really diddy. Look at that. And uh, it's got the power supply, which takes up the rest of the box, which is here. That's really tiny. Okay, cool. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like, shall we? So here we are. We've got it out of the box and we've plugged it in. Let's look at it before we hear what it sounds like. Um, I've got my input here, which is a quarter inch jack. It's got a quarter inch output as well if you're using an amplifier. We're using the XLR balanced output, which is really useful. So that can go you know, straight off to a mixing desk or whatever if you're doing a gig or recording. Um, looking at the pedal itself, we've got a tuner, a compressor, a preamp, and a reverb, and that's the order they go in. So um, we'll start off with the tuner to make sure I'm in tune. Press and hold the reverb button, and the tuner should be on. There we go, look. So the tuner's on these three, uh, three knobs at the end. In tune. Sharp and flat. You know, it's a tuner. You know what a tuner does. It works, it's great. Um, we'll turn the tuner off and see what the compressor does. So before I start playing with the pedal, here as a bass line is uh, what this guitar sounds like with the pedal turned off. So this is just going DI'd straight into the desk. There we go. So let's see what the compressor's like. Uh, at the moment, I've just turned it on. The compression is turned all the way down. The attack time is turned all the way up. And the volume, I think, here we are. where are we? Let's try that. So a few strummed chords. And as a comparison, let me turn it off. So, I mean, it's definitely compressing. Uh, I think, as with all compressors, depending on your playing style and the guitar you're using and, and the room you're in, you're going to want to tweak that to adjust it. But um, turn the compression up a little bit there. Particularly useful if you're a kind of heavy strummer, doing a lot of that kind of thing. The volume down a bit. All right. It's a compressor. It works if you want to use compression on your acoustic guitar. That's great. The bit I'm most interested in is the preamp section because often, uh, you know, particularly in live situations, you do need to adjust your, acu your EQ on acoustic instruments, you know, to, to do with the room you're in or the stage you're playing and how the monitoring is and whether you're playing with other people in a band or whatever it might be. And this has got some really useful things to do just that. Hopefully, I've not actually used it yet. I don't know if it, if it works properly. Um, so you've got volume control, which is just an overall volume, bass, middle, and treble, standard. The bit that's most useful, I find, on acoustic gigs is having a notch control and a notch frequency, and being able to have two knobs for that, which I'm going to consult the manual here. Um, yeah, so the, the notch controls, the notch filter cut, or the gain amount at neutral at, new, at noon. So is there a... There's no center detente, but 
that's okay. We'll just start with it at noon. And then the frequency uh, just sweeps up and down the frequency range to find your notch filter. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say a notch filter, uh, a notch filter is a very narrow band EQ. So you can use it, um, particularly on acoustic guitars, which are more, you know, much more prone to feedback than other things. You can use it to take out the frequencies that are causing you trouble. So if you're in a, in a room and you know, 440 or whatever is making you feedback all the time, then you can just turn it down. So let's see what that sounds like with the preamp. So here we go. Turn the volume up, it helps. Let's start with everything at noon, shall we? I understand that's the way to do pedals. Good, okay, so let's try fiddling around, see if we can make this sound uh, better with it. So a bit more bass maybe? A bit too much bass there. <laughs> That's good. Let's try turning the treble down. I find with a lot of under saddle pickups, there's far too much um, very high frequency information coming out of them. So if we try turning the treble down and see if that makes it sound a little bit more natural than under saddle pickups do sometimes. Might be too much. That's a little bit too much there. Try dialing it back in a bit. Pretty good. How's the mid mid range sound? Yeah. Drop that a little bit. Good. Let's see what this notch control is like. I'm going to turn it all the way down and just sweep through the notch frequencies to see how it sounds. Just playing with a kind of E minor ish chord with one hand. Good, so it's really subtle. So the, the notch control seems to actually boost it from noon as well if you turn it up, which makes sense, but it's quite a little bit unusual for a notch control. But that's, that is useful for, um, if I turn the treble back up, Turn the notch frequency all the way up and uh, the notch control all the way down. Okay, so <laughs> this is obviously, this is very subtle. Um, and it's more of an, an EQ tool for when you're playing live than a kind of tone shaping thing. It seems to work, <laughs> although it is a bit hard to tell in this kind of situation. Uh, it, you know, it's definitely, it is definitely notching stuff out at the frequencies where we're doing it. It doesn't say what the frequency range is, which is, um, which would have been quite useful, but it's not the end of the world. Um, it'd be interesting to take it on a gig and see how it reacts there. So the, the final thing uh, in terms of controls and buttons is the reverb. So let's see what that sounds like. So this is dry. Put the reverb on, turn it up a bit. That's fine, isn't it? Let's turn it all the way up to far too much reverb. That's not a bad sounding reverb, a little bit noisy maybe, but. Yeah, all right, let's turn it down to a kind of more suitable level. Good, let's put the compressor on as well, why not? The compressor to me sounds like it's taking a little bit of the low end out of this guitar, so I'm gonna dial a bit more in with the bass control.
like I said at the beginning, it's, it's not necessarily the kind of pedal that's going to get anyone particularly excited, but it's a really practical solution and it's 79 quid. Um, I want to get one to just live in my gig bag for the times when something like this would be really useful because uh, I could have really used, used it on a gig at the weekend actually when I was just working in a place with you know less than ideal acoustics and stage area and all that kind of thing. Um, one thing I just wanted to check as well just to see if it would work and I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. You could use the compressor as a solo boost as well if you wanted to use it not you know not as a compressor on all the time. Maybe not quite that much of a solo boost, but it works. So it's, it's a flexible pedal. You can use it as a compressor, a little boost. The preamp section is useful. It's good. Um, the reverb is perfectly usable. Uh, so yeah, it's good. It's got a headphone out. Should you wish to plug headphones in so you can uh, listen to your acoustic guitar um, on headphones with a bit of reverb, I guess. So all in all, I'm quite impressed by it. It's not going to set the world on fire, but for, you know, £79 to stick it in your bag on the way to a gig, just in case you need something, I think it's a really useful little box. So there we go. That's, that's my thought on it. I'd be interested to see what you thought of the sounds that were coming out of it. Let me know in the comments and uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe and all that kind of thing. It's been a pleasure and I will see you next time on uh, Acoustic Paradiso here in Anderton's. All right, see you.